Dakota knows pine tar. Dakota knows bubble gum. Dakota knows water fountains. Dakota knows everything. <laughs> Bill Picota, a former big league baseball player who turns 55 years old today, has nothing to do with the sabermetric system that is owned by Baseball Prospectus used to forecast player and team performance. So please stop tying this poor man to the Picota <laughs> projections, which we are doing in this segment by playing the <laughs> under uh, using the Picota predictions on Bill Picota's birthday. It's time for gut reaction. We begin with Bill's former club, the Kansas City Royals. Uh, according to Picota projections, the Royals will win a whopping 72 games. Ron Darling, over under 72 wins. Talk about no respect. The team that goes to the seventh game, they will definitely be over 72 wins. Yeah, about uh, about two hours ago, Bavada and Vegas came out with their over their own over under 79 and a half. That's the tough one. I, I'm still going to take the over even on that one. Oh, really? Over 79 and a half? Okay. Wow, so they're definitely over 72. I, it's like, what am I missing that they could have them that low? They were last in home runs, last in walks last year. Not exactly a juggernaut, but they're a better team than 72 wins. The division's better though, right? The yes. Indians, the White better. Sox, the Very Tigers deep. are on a sure. fluke, Very and the deep. Twins are younger, getting better. Yep. Lorenzo Cain has to stay healthy. Okay, okay. Uh, next, Pakoda projection. The Tampa Bay Rays, Tom Verducci. 86 wins. We like that rotation, don't we? Over under 86 wins. Yeah, I like the rotation, but Matt Moore's not coming back probably midseason. Of course, no David Price, no Joe Madden, no Andrew Freeman. They lost a lot. I don't see where the improvement is. And they're saying the Rays are a much better team than they were last year. I don't see that. I think they're around 500. Ooh, under for him. What about you? Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm hoping to find a glimmer of hope. I went through that depth chart. And when, you know, looking through the offensive projected lineup, and, you know, other than Longoria, maybe Desmond Jennings sort of t takes a step forward I just didn't see enough absolutely under they had trouble scoring runs when they had Zobris now only have Longoria and the starting pitching is fantastic they only play two thirds of the game I, I don't understand yeah. where did this number under. come from where did it come from it's all about their it's pitching. all starting pitching it's all about their pitching and very good pitching no question about that and I think some people are saying that the division is more squashed together than it's ever been where you're not going to have a hundred win team okay Joe I'll begin with you on the San Diego Padres what an offseason it's been uh, they made so many acquisitions a brand new outfield according to Pakota the Padres will win 84 games over under 84. They've added a lot of star power, but I see them, I think they'll get over, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough for the playoffs. I and mean, we're talking like an 85-86 win, maybe they're the team that just misses. You don't have in the postseason, what about you? I was asked this question on this show about two weeks ago. My number was 85, so I got them over. I think they have a chance to play some real sub September games that are meaningful. I'm with you. I think they're over the number here. I think they very possibly could get to 88, which puts them in that second, maybe first wild card. Uh, pitching staff, 1 through 12, you want to go 1 through 20 if you want to talk about reserves. They're as good as anybody in the National League. I like the depth they have pitching-wise. And finally, we stay in the National League. Ron, I'll give it to you on your okay. club. The Mets, according to Pakoda, will win 81 games over under your Mets. Well, it's funny. We just showed Matt Harvey. He said they're, they, that's a possibility they're going to the World Series. So I don't know if that's going to happen, but I think they're t another team that's going to play games that are meaningful in September. I got them over 81. Over 81? Yeah, I put it in print that they were going to get over 81 last year, so I'm going to take a one-year mulligan and say they'll get to 82 <laughs> no or so this year. No mulligans in this show. <laughs> I'm going over, too. I've got them in the same bucket as the Marlins and the Padres. Both in that range, 85 to 88, they can get there. Uh, once again, happy birthday to the great Bill Pakoda. I don't know if he's upset by the Pakoda projections at all, but he's, we're talking about it. He's him, not so. now. You're talking about yeah, it. Right, exactly. right, right. <laughs> Happy birthday, Bill.